A statue that is a painful symbol of oppression to Native Americans is no longer in place in Rio Arriba County. Crews removed the Juan de Oñate statue this afternoon, but it is not clear if that statue is gone for good. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us this evening with details. Courtney. Dean, there was a protest planned this afternoon for the statue's removal, but that protest turned into a celebration as the county took it down just a few hours before. It's a statue that's been controversial since day one. It's definitely part of history. You know, I think uh, it's, there's positive and negatives to it. A hero of the Spanish, Native Americans view Juan de Oñate as a brutal conqueror who massacred as many as a thousand Acoma in the late 1500s and ordered the left foot cut off of the male survivors. People have protested events honoring Oñate for years. The presence of that statue was an act of violence upon Pueblo people. After years of activists fighting to get rid of his statue in Alcalde, People lined the street this afternoon, taking photos and cheering <laughs> as it was taken down. For the first time in 20 years, we don't have to stare at Onyate. The Rio Arriba County manager authorized the move, saying the county learned that destruction or damage to the statue was likely at a protest planned this afternoon. That's what prompted my decision, is the current time and the way people are acting. And the fact that I, I actually believe they would have heard it. It's unfortunate, but it, it is the current time, the current the way the nation is thinking. This comes as cities across the country take down monuments dedicated to Confederate leaders and generals. An Onyate statue at the Albuquerque Museum was also recently vandalized. It's part of a much larger uh, struggle for people's voices to be heard. As law enforcement escorted the statue away to an undisclosed storage location, people stormed the area and stood where the statue once was, reclaiming the land. In the year 2020, our voices are finally being heard. <laughs> The county stresses that this is temporary and no final decision has been made about the future of the statue. Commissioners will discuss that with the community. The county manager says that it will be stored until commissioners figure out what they want to do with it, likely at their July meeting. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. The county manager says that statue is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. The county manager says when vandals once cut off the foot of that statue, it cost taxpayers $10,000 to repair. The county manager says that was part of his calculation to remove the statue ahead of today's protest. He says many of the people protesting were not from Rio Arriba County.